What I have here today, September 13th, 2013, I guess it is, I forget what year we're in. Uh, this is a video on how to open up a pocket watch case, like I wrote up here. Uh, yeah, I go to flea market and I see, uh, people, I see pocket watches that have been trashed because uh, they did not open up the case and they, uh, messed it up. So, I'm gonna do this video. Uh, I, from this is, uh, this is what I've seen. I don't know, there could be other types out there, but this is what I've encountered so far on cases. Uh, let's see, there's basically two types. You have the uh, screw on, and uh, something's in the way, and the snap on. So uh, let's see. Let me see if I can get this closer. Yeah, screw on. You know, screw on back and front, and and then the, there's one called the swing out case that has a screw on front, and then uh, the snap on. You got a snap on back and front, and you got snap on with uh, you know a hinge, one hinge, two hinges, and then you have keyed. The cover has to go on a certain way, and also there's a also a swing out for the snap on, and as usual, not to scale. So let us get the show on the road. I got watches, so oh, let's talk about tools. There's a couple, well, this is one type, this knife type thing, and I forget to put on my extra eyes. I'm going to need them, and the auxiliary light. Where should I get the auxiliary light? I don't know if that doesn't make sense. Anyway, so here's the uh, one type, uh, this is the knife thing. Uh, let's see, you can see if it'll be kind enough to focus. Uh, it is dull, dull as uh, crap, you know, and you see it, it thins out. Do not use a, uh, you know, a sharp knife because then you chew up the side of the case, and I'll show you on some of these watches. There's this kind, and there's the kind that uh, you, you know, the, uh, you push forward. It has a, a little this handle. I have one of those, but I can't find the thing, or... Not that I can't find them, too lazy to look for it. That's my problem. Uh, I prefer this one because you have better control when you're applying the force. The force is with you. <laughs> so anyway, uh, let's do the uh, screw on. Uh, let me get the... where did I put it? Oh, okay. Let's see. This is a pocket watch. I look at it, and, uh, you know, people like, how do you open it up, but, uh, how do I know it's a screw-on? Ah, <sighs> screw-on, so, uh, if you go around the edge, let's see how close we can get it, it's going to focus. Yeah, well, this probably isn't the best example, but you can see there's a seam here, where my, uh, thumb is, and there's a seam here. And if you go around the whole perimeter, you see the seam goes all the way around. You don't see any hinges or what I like to call reliefs, which I'll show you on the snap-on cases. So this tells me it's got to be a screw-on. And, you know, you, you palm it or you put it in your fingers, you go like this, and counterclockwise, you know, opens it up. Ta-da! And clockwise screws it back in. Now when you're screwing these back on, you have to be careful that you don't cross thread. You know, see how it goes? The gap is even all the way around. So you don't want to cross thread because, you know, that's bad. <laughs> uh, and if it doesn't go easily, then, you know, chances are something's wrong. Either it's being cross threaded or maybe it's got a dent in it. But if it's got a dent in it, then of course you got to apply some force. But if it's cross threaded, you, know, you can usually tell. And the back, too, is also screw on. 
same thing uh, counterclockwise to take it off. Oh, I didn't show you the threads. I don't know if you can see the threads. Will it be kind enough to focus? I guess not. Okay, there are the threads. Maybe you really can't tell because I don't know, was it like two or three threads there? So, and there's threads on the corresponding part. Two or three threads, so that's the way that is. And, and you, uh, again, screw it on without cross threading. It goes on fairly easy, this one. That's the important thing. Usually if it, you know, don't force it. If it don't go, don't force it. Because chances are something's not right. Examine it for any dents or anything. Then, then, then you say, okay, that's why it doesn't want to go on. So that's the uh, screw-on. This is an 18 size watch. So, they have screw-on for all sizes. The next, let's pull out the paper, is going to be the swing-out. Yeah, first time I saw one of these swing outs, I'm like, what? How do you how do you do this one? Again, I would look at the uh, around the edge, and I guess you can see there's just uh, one seam. You see all the way around. There's no seam down here for the back. It's just one seam, and it goes all the way around. 360, no hinges, no reliefs, just one seam. So you're like, hmm, how do you get to the back of this sucker? Well, I'll tell you. Uh, first thing, one thing you have to do, not the first, probably the first or second, is you have to pull out the uh, crown. Let's see if it, uh, if it wants to cooperate. Sometimes these don't cooperate. There you go. So I pulled out the crown with the stem, stem is attached to a crown. And then it unscrews. Because like I said, you don't see relief or cut out. So you unscrew it. Again, counterclockwise removes it. And there it goes. And the reason I pull the stem out first is because if you try to pull the stem out after you have the cover off, you may, uh, you know, damage the hands with your, uh, with your hands. Now you look at this and you can see there's a hinge at the top here. And at the bottom, there's a relief there. Well, that's, that's why it's a swing out, because you can stick your fingernail in there. And the reason you pull out the crown is you have to get the stem out of the way in order you for, this, for you to swing this watch out. Because if you don't, you're going to break something, because the stem will be in the way. So that's the important thing, is you have the crown out before you do the swinging. And you just stick your fingernail in there, and voila, it swings out. And there you go, you can access the back. Excuse me, yeah, the back of the movement. And it, the ring, you know, holds the movement. You got the, your two case screws, and it keeps it in the ring. And there, you can see the stem. And you have to get it out of the way when you pull it out. They say these cases are the best to protect the watch. I don't know, I guess that's true. So that's your swing out. And to put it back in, well you swing it back in. And then you make sure it's uh, in all the way by pushing it down like that. And then you again, I don't know, should I show you the threads? Can you see the threads? The threads there, trust me. You uh, screw it back on counterclockwise. This one goes on easy. Make sure you're not cross-sitting and it's on. And the trick is when you now push the stem, uh, the crown back in to get the stem in, oh, it's already lined up. Sometimes you have to move it a little bit to line it up with the, uh, the hole or the corresponding part in the watch. This one I was lucky and it lined right up as you can see. And then you push it in you're good to go. So that's the swing out. Yeah, these are uh, tricky. You gotta watch out that you don't damage them when you open them up. Okay, let's see what's next on the agenda. Now we go to the snap-on. So we got a snap-on back and front. 
Uh, uh, now my problem is I have a bunch of watches lying here and now I have to find the one. Okay, that's a 12 size. This is a snap-on back and front. Now how do I know it's a snap-on? Because when you look at it you're going to say, oh, okay, you see a seam here. It's not focusing too well. Seam here and then there's a seam below. So you may think, oh, it's screw-on. But you have to go around the watch. You don't see any hinges, so you're still thinking it's screw-on, but ha-ha. I don't know if you can see it here. Oh, here you can see it. They have a little piece sticking out here on the back. That's a dead giveaway that it's a uh, snap-on. And usually have a another one on the front. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little bit of a piece that sticks out. They usually put them at the, you know, between 10 and 2, let's say. That's where you usually find those. But some, you know, people get lazy when they put them on and they put it all over the place. So I see that stick out there and I know it's a snap off. That's when you have to use your tool. Maybe you can use your fingernail if you got strong nails. Don't use a knife. That's when you use your tool. Now I'm going to use uh, tool goes in between the uh, that stick out thing and the uh, the case itself I guess the body of the case and you just apply pressure and it comes off and there you can see the uh, the stick out thing right here and the case is off as you can see there are no threads no threads because it's snap off also, I guess this white case is sort of keyed because, I don't know, you can see up here there's a, uh, a small relief. And that's for the, uh, up here where the stem is. Some watches have that, some don't. So uh, you got to check that out before you put the cover on to make sure, you know, it seats right, so... I got that relief, so what I do to put it back together, I'm, uh, I match up the relief with the stem, and I just apply pressure, and it snaps on. And the same thing, let's see what the, uh, the bezel has. Again, I see the relief, I apply the pressure. You gotta make sure you don't too much pressure, because you're gonna make slip with the knife and go across the dial and screw it up. And again, it comes off. Can you see the relief thing? Yeah, just barely over there. Oh yeah, this one has also a, a cutout for the stem. And again, no threads. So then you just uh, line it up and you snap it on. This one didn't make a noise. So that's a snap on front and back. What's next? Okay, we got snap-on hinge. One hinge and two hinge. Uh, let's see. Oh, this one has a hinge. Okay, so I got this watch. I'll look at it again. And once you see a hinge, there's the hinge. Once you see a hinge, then you know it's snap-on. You know, they don't put screw in. i never seen a screw in a snap-on or screw with the you know hinge you know it's either all screw or it's all snap on so like I say you know you see the two seams I go around the perimeter up I see a hinge I know it's gonna snap off and again you can see the relief or the stick out here and you can see there's a stick out up here either gonna get a stick out or it's gonna be uh, a relief. I'll have to show you. Hopefully I have one of those lying around. So for the hinge, this is single hinge. You take your trusty knife and you apply the to the hinge and it opens up and there you go. That way you, you can't lose the cover. That's for sure. Usually, uh, you know, 90 degrees or a little bit less. That's a good one. No more than 90 goes back more than 90 that means it's been abused and used really it's been abused so that's one thing people look at when they buy these cases if the hinge goes past 90 they it doesn't command as uh, 
great a price. And then to close it, you just close it. And I'll do the front because just to show you again, there it goes, no threads. And does this one, see this one doesn't have a relief for the stem. So I look at where this relief is between 10 and 11, so I'm going to put the, this one between 1 and 2, just to be symmetrical. I don't know if that's the way I found it when I bought it. There you go, snapped on. So that's one hinge. Let's see if I can find the two hinger. Oh, here's a two hinger. I got it in the bag still. Let's see, is this two hinge? Uh, yeah, okay. So again, I look at the case. I see, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there's two, two seams. I can see the stick out over here, so I know it's snap. Plus, it's got two hinges front and bezel, well, bezel and back, so it definitely snap off, and then there is the other stick out, so we're going to open this up, uh, let's see, again, I apply my knife, and uh, there it is, and this one has, uh, I guess it's a dust cover, but there's another name for it, some French name, and of course, that has a hinge also, and then well, let's see. Let's zoom in. I'm well, not zoom in. Let's focus. You can see that has the uh, the relief there, where it says, you know, stick a knife in me. And that's what it's saying. And you'd see it's all scratched and chewed up there because people were using sharp knives instead of dull knives, instead of the right equipment to open up the case. So, so once you see that uh, relief there, then you just and it's two hinges, and there you go, two hinges. This one's good because it's 90 degrees or less. And then to close it, I'm going to leave a fingerprint on it that I'll have to clean off later. You just press it down. And we'll do the front. The bezel, excuse me, we'll do the bezel. And there it is, swaying off. Yeah, sometimes with these snap-ons, when you pop them off, the, the crystal may come out if it's a replacement crystal or something like that. There you go, you got the hinge, and then we'll close it. Let's see what else I have. Uh, that's not it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, here's the, uh, keyed. Well, the, I already showed you sort of a key. This one, again, I look at, well, this one, fun, funny shape. How many sides does this have? Two, four, six, eight. So it's an octagon. So again, you know, you see two seams. I don't see any hinges, but I do see the uh, the relief here for a knife, or for the for the case opener. We'll call it case opener. And there's one also here for the bezel. So again, you uh, insert the uh, case opener apply some pressure. Ah, oh, this one really, oh, and it uh, comes off. Now keyed, uh, this one's keyed, I don't know, let's see. Now you can see over here, there's a projection over here, and on the case back, oh, we'll put it in the same location, there is a clearance for the projection. So it's keyed. If you try to put it on uh, in, a, in a different way, it won't snap all the way on because, you know, interference. So they want this back to go on a certain orientation. So you just have to uh, line up the relief with the projection there and snap it on. I never seen. Oh, let's see. Let's do the front now, because you got the little relief. Let's see if I can do this with the tool. Okay. And this one comes off. See this? This bezel is not. Oh, it is keyed. You can see there's something there too. And is there a corresponding? Yeah, you can see the corresponding. And you know they put it right where the relief is, so it gets chewed up. If you know, if you use a sharp object. So again, you. Uh, 
line up the projection and you snap and everything is peachy keen. So that's keyed. Let's see what else we got. Uh, well, okay, I gotta show the paper again. So I just did the key. Now we're gonna do swing out. Uh, I got a couple swing outs here. Let's do this swing out. I forgot to put this back in this little bag. I'm gonna put that one back in the bag. For some reason, some of these I haven't bagged and some I don't. Okay, this one is a swing out. Now, when you look at it, again, you can see there's a seam here and a seam there for the bezel in the back. I go around the perimeter. Oh, and then here I got a hinge right in the middle. So I know it's definitely a snap open. And I keep on going. Wait, excuse me, I made a mistake. There's only one seam. Just one seam in the middle. There's no seam, seam for the bezel and back. My mistake. That's why I got the hinge in the middle. I go around. I'm looking for my relief. And where is it? Well, you can barely see it over here. Let's see, it's just a little bit wider. So that's where I would insert my case opener. Well, it isn't. It's not, not, not that wide. Hmm. I hope I can open this up then. Oh, so I stick my uh, insert the tool and it opens up in half. Clamshell. Whoops, this crystal is probably going to pop out on me because I know it's a replacement. Well, you can tell by the dial, the dial is all crusty because it had no uh, crystal to protect it. I think I had to buy a hand for this too. No, no, this is original hands. They're bent too. Anyway, I, I digress. So you open it up and you say, hey, how do I get to the back of this sucker? Well, if you look around the perimeter over here, there's another hinge. And this tells me it's a swing out. There's the hinge there, and opposite of the hinge is a, uh, a well-used relief. And I use my case opener again into the relief. Let's see if this will cooperate. Yeah, it will eventually. Oh man, that sucker's tight. I'm gonna use the back because I need more. No, maybe I can't. I gotta make sure I don't. Ah, okay, there you go. I don't bend anything I'm trying to get to open this up. So there it is. Swing out. And it's swinging by the uh, hinge. So there's your swing out case. And there's your movement with your case screws. You know, one there and one there. And it swings out. Now you can access the uh, innards. And there's the case. And to close it, well, you just swing it back into position, and you really got to press this one, probably. Oh, man. Yeah, this one's tight. Yeah, press it back in, and then close it. And there you go. So that's the swing out. Center swing out, maybe. I have another swing out. This one's a little bit different, that's why I uh, have two. Again, uh, this one I look at and I can see there's only one seam. And then, then I see the hinge, okay, I know it's a snap open. But since it only has one seam, see this crystal pops out. I know, and then there's the dead giveaway, there's the uh, projection. Let's see, maybe you see better on this side. Yeah, there's the projection for the case opener. This crystal's going to come out. And so I use my uh, tool case opener. And I uh, open it up. And I'm just going to let the crystal fall out. And, oh, the hinge is on this side now. There's the hinge. I guess you can see that. 
the hinge, and then opposite of the hinge is the, uh, well not opposite, no, my mistake. Over here is the relief, let's say, for the tool to open it up. I don't know why that's over there, I thought it'd be opposite. Eh, yeah, let's see if I can do this. Without screwing anything up. Yeah, see how I push on it, the bezel thing goes down. This one's gonna be a pain in the neck. Oh, it's almost there. I gotta work our way around the perimeter. So there it is. Swing out on the hinge. And you can access the uh, pretty movement. And, uh, and then you see they got the cut out there for the stem. And then you just close it the uh, opposite way. Oh, that closes real easy. And then you close it. Well, I'm going to put the crystal, the cheap plastic crystal. I paid a lot of money for this watch too, and the crystal pops out. There you go, and it's closed. And let me put this back in its plastic bag before I... Uh, this bag is too big. So maybe it's this bag. So that was your two swing outs. Uh, last one I'll do. It's not on a piece of paper, but it is a swing out. It's the English. Or Great Britain, United Kingdom, whatever. Uh, this one I've seen on eBay where they're selling these. And of course you can see uh, two seams. Uh, you can see a stick out over here for a tool, and you got a hinge, so you know. Oh, you got another hinge, two hinges. So people think, okay, oh, they got a thing for the back. I can look at the movement, and they go like this, and they go, oh, what do I do now? Because there are no seams here to open it up. Looks like someone tried to. No, that's from this. Yeah, they used a knife here because that's why it's all chewed up. So they're like, oh crap, I can't see the movement. How do they do that? So I actually email them and show them how to do it. You have to go through the front. It's a swing out. So you got the relief in the front. You open it up. There's the movement. And down here at the bottom. Oh no, not there. Where is it? I guess it's here. Yeah, at the bottom here you see something. Uh, you have to push that in. Oh yeah, plus it's a hinge. There's a hinge up here, so that tells me opposite of the hinge usually. You got something here you gotta push in. And then, then the case, it's like a lock there. And it swings out and there, there you can get the movement. And I'll just take this cover off too. If you ever see one of these, uh, you can see here you got a pen, you got a big opening, and the rest is narrow. So that means you just push it like that to unlock it, and then it comes off. And then you put it back on. You know, like that. And you move it the opposite. There's a pen over here. And it locks over here, there's a cutout, and it locks here because you got a small diameter. And then there you can see the, uh, well, let's see if I can focus in on that. You can see it's got a locking mechanism there. And you just swing it back in, this hinge is shot, and it locks back in, and then you close it up. It's a nice case. Uh, let me put this away. So I think that covers it for today. So these are my participants. Uh, let's see. So that's how I open up cases. I uh, examine it first. Then I go to town. Then I, you know, work it. I can put these on top because they're in plastic bags. And they plus, so, and this one you really can't see. 
So that's how I open up uh, a watch case. You know, get a tool, don't chew up the edges, examine it over, don't try to use a, a knife to open up a screw one, because you just kiss it goodbye and you shouldn't have any problems. I don't know if there's any other types of cases out there because this is all I've seen so far. Maybe there are. If you do know of some other types, let me know. And then, you know, you put it in the comment section and people will learn. So, anyway, uh, that's it for the uh, presentation. Uh, hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you for your cooperation and have a nice day. Let's see, I'm going to let it end at 45.